Hi, and welcome to the Digital Digging YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the five winners for the third week of October in the weekly custom skin competition for the aircraft and ground vehicles in the game of War Thunder. Each week, judges select their top five favourite player-created skins and award their creators 500 golden eagles each, and at the end of each month, the judges will vote for the top three out of all the winners from the previous weeks and award them 1,500 golden eagles each. I'll give the full outline of the competition at the end of the video, and it'll also be available as a link in the description box below. This week's winners are, in no particular order, Petronera, Hot Waffle, Bowen ABC, FJP DLL, and Mr. X, Mr. Y, PL. First of all, we have the rather gorgeous Emerald Green ME410 A1, created by Mr. X, Mr. Y, PL. You can find a link to this and all the other contestants pages in the description box below should you wish to give any of these skins a go for yourself. I think I for one will be keeping this one for a good while. Next we have the captured ME262 A1A, known as Yabo Bait, brought to us by FJP DLL. This is a 4K skin, and the details and overall look of this creation display a high degree of skill. Colonel Harold E. Watson, the commander of the Army Air Force's Air Technical Intelligence Group, was one of the pilots who flew this machine. Years after the war, he said, When I first saw the ME262, I was spellbound. Just sitting there on the ground, it looked as though it was doing Mach 1. Bowen ABC has bought us a wonderful skin from the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the form of a Hydra HO299. This aircraft, or an approximation of it, was last seen at the end of the first Captain America movie and was the set piece for a fight between the Captain and Johann Schmidt, also known as the Red Skull, before acting as the Captain's icy coffin, at least temporarily. Links, as usual, in the description box below. Hot Waffle, our splendidly named fourth prize winner, has recreated the paint scheme for the Anamosa 2, a P-47 D-25 as flown by Lieutenant Russell Westfall of the 63rd Fighter Squadron in the late summer of 1944. This is also a 4K skin and was plainly created with a great deal of care. Last but not least, we have another historical paint scheme, this time for the Nimrod Mark II and created for us by Petronera. This 8K skin depicts the paint scheme from one of the numerous aircraft flown by the French World War I air ace Charles Nungesser. It makes a pleasant change to see a biplane make its way into the competition, particularly one which has received such lavish attention. OK, well, that's our lot for another week. If you'd like to have a go yourself, there are three categories to choose from. The historical skin category, which applies to any historically accurate aircraft or tank camouflage. The historical ace skin, which applies to any historically accurate vehicle belonging to a World War II ace. And thirdly, the non-historical category in which your creativity is allowed to run free within certain limitations. Weekly winners will win 500 golden eagles each, and the three monthly winners drawn from the weekly winners pool will receive 1,500 golden eagles each. Right, well, thanks for watching. If you'd like to keep up to date with new video releases and other news, then please feel free to subscribe to this channel and or any other media platform that takes your fancy. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.